Journal Entry 28 Women I think of them a lot, all of them, the women in my life. Lately there has been a lot of time for that, nothing really happens here except the daily trainings with the recruits, they confuse me, every single one in their own unique way. Women, not the recruits. I believe that if any single man ever would find out how the mind of a woman functions, he would have nothing left to do in his life, because all other tasks and all the complex philosophies of the scholars and all the untold secrets on Tyria pales when compared to a woman. Mist came by the other day after one of those trainings. It was the first time we talked since I said goodbye to her at the keep before going to Divinity's Reach for the leave. The day she ridiculed me, my clothes, my scent, everything about me. I know she was not the only one that day, but her words hurt me the most. She was special to me, and she still is. She told me I had changed, that I was moody and twitchy. I told her she had changed too. She insulted me and Kari, calling her names that I do not wish to include in this journal. I told her I miss the old mist, the one that approached me when I was the only recruit in the camp in awe, when all the other members of the chapter ignored me. I miss the hours when we talked about everything. She made Orr feel less like a nightmare. That feeling is gone now. I told her I do not wish to fight, yet we continued to bicker until she said she had some important report to write, and I said goodbye. It felt like the last time I would talk to her. Kari. Kari is like night and day. I once compared her to a rose, both beautiful but also full of thorns. She liked that. Sometimes she is hot. But then she turns cold within a fraction of a second. I am baffled how direct she is. If she wants something, she asks for it without further ado, if she does not take it. At least she has stopped nagging me and I think she understands that I need my space. She was in the tent when I entered it after talking to Mist. I know she must have heard every word. But I did not say anything and she did not ask. I like that. Sometimes she hints that she might want something else than the physical relationship we share at the moment, but how can I be sure she does not turn around and change her mind the next minute? She is like the wind, sometimes hot, sometimes cold, sometimes here, the next second gone. How can I catch a wind? Car. Almost the same name as Kari. Sometimes I cannot help but think of her when I utter Kari's name, but she's not a woman, she cannot be. Maybe the appearance of a woman, a rather tempting looking one. But underneath I know she hides the foulest beast from the underworld, and she needs to be treated for what she really is. Harleen. I still think of her. Why do I have such a hard time to let go of the past? She's dead, and nothing can bring her back. I still fail to understand how such a capable fighter could be so fragile. She could swing that hammer like any man, but she was always sick or injured, and always doubting herself. I guess Crusader Stromson saw that as weakness, and mercilessly exploited it. I tried to be there for her, the Six Gods knows I did try, but eventually I broke up with her. I had my own demons to fight and I took all that I had to give and left no strength over to carry her. I always wonder if the breakup had anything to do with her death. I guess I will ask myself the question until we meet again in the mists. BL. Now there is a confusing woman, teaser, like no one else, bent my mind tempted me until I was ready to follow her, then she left me. I still think of her, Kari does not know and I wish to keep it that way. I know she wanted me too, I saw it in her eyes. 
but something made her change her mind. I think I need to ask her why if I ever see her again, otherwise I will keep thinking of this forever. I wonder what her juicy lips would have tasted like. The thing is, I do not know what I want, who I want. If I want anyone or if I am just playing around, am I hunting the one or fleeing from myself? I do not know. I do not wish to know. I think I want to burn this journal and take the next chip out of Lion's Arch. No one would ever know. <laughs>